प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के संबोधन की सुनिए और अचीविंग कॉमन एंड कॉन्क्रीट ऑब्जेक्टिव एक्सलेंसी वी मस्ट ऑल एक्नॉलेज दैट मल्टीलेटरलिज्म इज इन क्राइसिस टूडे द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ ग्लोबल गवर्नेंस क्रिएटेड आफ्टर द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर वॉज टू सर्व टू फंक्शंस फर्स्ट टू प्रिवेंट फ्यूचर वॉर्स बाय बैलेंसिंग कॉम्पिटिंग इंटरेस्ट सेकेंड टू फोस्टर इंटरनेशनल कोऑपरेशन ऑन इश्यूज ऑफ कॉमन इंटरेस्ट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस क्लाइमेट चेंज पैंडेमिक टेरिज्म एंड वॉर्स क्लियरली शोज दैट ग्लोबल गवर्नेंस हैज फेल्ड in both its mandates we must also admit that the tragic consequences of this failure are being faced most of all by the developing countries after years of progress we are at risk today of moving back on the sustainable development goals many developing countries are struggling with unsustainable debt while trying to ensure food and energy security for their people they are also the ones most affected by global warming caused by richer countries this is why india g20 presidency has tried to give a voice to the global south no group can claim global leaders without listening to those most affected by its decisions excellencies we are meeting at a time of deep global divisions as foreign minister it is but natural that your discussions are affected by the geo political tensions of the day we all have our positions and our perspectives on how this tension should be resolved however at the leading economies of the world we also have a responsibility toward those who are not in this room the world looks upon the g20 to ease the challenges of growth development economic resilience disaster resilience financial stability transnational crime corruption terrorism and food and energy security in all these areas the g20 has capacity to build consensus and deliver concrete results we should not allow issues that we cannot resolve together to come in the way of those we can as you meet in the land of gandhi and the buddha i pray that you will draw inspiration from india's civilizational ethos to focus not on what divides us but on what unites us excellencies 
in recent times we have seen the most dangerous pandemic of a century we have witnessed thousands of lives lost in natural disasters we have seen global supply chains break down during times of stress we have seen stable economies suddenly overwhelmed by debt and financial crisis these experiences clearly show the need for resilience in our societies in our economies in our healthcare systems and in our infrastructure the g20 has a critical role to play in finding the right balance between growth and efficiency on one hand and resilience on the other we can reach this balance more easily by working together that is why your meeting is important i have full trust in your collective wisdom and ability i'm sure that today's meeting will be ambitious inclusive action oriented and will rise about differences i thank you and wish you all the best for a productive meeting i thank the prime minister for his valuable guidance i now begin the first session of the g20 foreign ministers meeting as i do so excellencies let us remind ourselves